Hi everybody, and welcome to the fifth episode in my EV3 programming series. In this video, we're going to be tackling most of the blocks in the data operations tab, which basically means we're going to be covering the variables, the constants, and math and logic operations all in one video. Let's get into it. Since we reviewed the variable block last time, let's go to its counterpart, the constant block. Now, if you see here, the constant block and the variable block actually look really, really similar. Um, the only thing being different is that the variable block has both the read and the write functions, whereas in the constant block, you only have um, the read function. Like, as you can see, I can't input any numbers in here in this wire. There's no options for me to write anything. Instead of writing it in the write section, because uh, uh, it's a different block, you can actually only write things in the upper right corner of the block. Ergo, where we used to write low, high, and variables, we can now write values. For example, if I plug in 5, I can use this 5 number anywhere in our program. The constant block isn't actually that useful. If we compare it with something such as the variable block, where you can actually write it and you can change it within your programs, the constant block, you can't actually do that. If I can write text here, and I can use it in the program, but every single time I want to use a constant block, for example, if I need to use it in a loop to end it, I can just simply, I can just simply use the number in here. I don't have to rely on, for example, a constant block in here and write a numeric and five and then plug it in here every single time because that would be really time consuming and also it's really confusing for anyone trying to read your program. As a result, we don't really need to cover the concept block. I just thought it would be interesting to have it for you in case you wanted to use it. Now let's move on to the next block. This is going to be where it gets sort of complicated. Um, we're going to add in the math block. Now usually you would ask, well, what does math do in my EV3 program? Well, a math block allows you to make operations, especially ones that loop over and over again, and use those operations to calculate different formulas. So instead of plugging in a value by yourself, you grab a, vari a variable or a value from, say, the color sensor, and then put it into a math block so it does something with that value in order to output another formula. So in this math block, we have different functions such as add, subtract, divide, multiply, absolute value, etc. But what we're going to be most concerned with and what you're going to use the most is the advanced block. Now, of course, feel free to mess around with this math block. For example, you can change these numbers to add them together. But I want you to go to the advanced portion. And as you can see, you have four variables instead of two. And you can actually add more or you can subtract them, etc. Like you can get rid of extra variables if you want to. Now, click on the top right corner because this is where you can actually customize the formula. Let's just say, for example, I wanted the A value to add the B value. What do I do in this instance? Well, of course, I would just delete the C and the D variables because I simply don't need it. And once you do that, your C and your D variables are cut out. Not necessarily from the block, but definitely from the variable holding it together. So if we run this program, this wire is going to output a 4. I'm not actually going to run it for you because I think it's pretty self-explanatory. You have a whole different amount of functions in here. You can add, you can subtract, you can multiply, divide, and that's basically all you need to use for now. Uh, we'll get into the other stuff when we absolutely need to, but you won't necessarily need any of the other ones until much, much later. I don't think you'll be using it much for FLL even, or any more complicated events. I just want you to mess around with the math block for a little bit, seeing how you can add different functions. For example, you can do that and you can add in C as a variable. And here you would get um, B multiplied by C plus A. Remember your bed bath skills. If you haven't learned that yet, basically um, it will basically the computer or the uh, do multiplication and division first in a group and then it will do a um, I don't think you'll need the math block if you haven't done bed mass yet and that's actually like math in general so if you're not familiar with the concept and you don't understand how this block works feel free to just use add subtract divide and multiply 
Thank you for watching the fifth video of my EV3 programming series. Check back for video six, where I explain the last of the major data operations blocks, which is arrays and array operations. Be sure to like, subscribe, and until next time, bye bye.